Hey guys, Weekend Warrior Shop. Today we have a great video for you. We are testing the S63 versus the one shot 18 inch barrel on a precision test on our range on 30 meters, 50 meters, 70 meters. Stay tuned. Today we will make an accuracy test with two barrels. Um, the last year I played my beautiful EMF 100 with an 18 inch um, one shot barrel because it's very accurate. Um, I like the DMR style. I, I like to play a, a, bit, a little longer setup because it's better for my accuracy. And yeah, that's why I chose this barrel. But now Planet Eclipse um, invented, thank you Jack Wood for always improving the sport, um, invented this beautiful S63. But the problem was for me, the setup was a little bit too short. I like the DMS setup and yeah, it's just an 8.5 8 8 inch insert and the, the length with the Quake muzzle was um, 11... 11.25 uh, inches. Yeah. Okay, and that was not enough for a DMS setup. But um, a few weeks ago, they invented the extended adapter or, yeah. or like you, you can buy it now. And now we got with muzzle 16 inch and that's for me very interesting. But the, the main question, I'm playing 90% uh, first strike, how is the accuracy compared with my 18 inch one shot? Because this is an accuracy beast, I'm very um, I'm happy, uh, I made so many kills with it, with it the whole year over, it was really great. Um, yeah, that's why we are, want to make a test on our shooting range on 30 meters, 50 meters, 70 meters. And we are shooting a whole magazine for the static, st 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 statistical accuracy. Sorry for my very bad English. Um, yeah. Would you uh, tell something about this barrel? Yeah, we can talk about the barrels and I think we have also uh, some videos for this. And we will link the S63 barrel also over here. And yeah, let's talk about it. We have Hammerhead one shot. It's the EMF shaped version and the EMF shaped version is uh, from the price the same as the normal Hammerhead one shot. Uh, 687 bore size, 18 inch length and it's a bit tighter on the front so that it fits perfectly into your EMF body case. That's the um, difference, uh, the, the fitting is the difference uh, to the normal Hammerhead one shot. You pay for it 208 euro 95 at this moment and yeah. Without a muzzle. W without a muzzle and you have a 22 millimeter thread in the front. And they start away 25 euros. Yeah, and the muzzle starts with 25 euros, yeah. And over here we have a S63 barrel and you uh, you uh, pay in the tactical version 169.90 euro and then you got the tactical version 11.25 uh, 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 inches long with a quake muzzle, muzzle included and uh, 8.5 insert 686 uh, rifled insert from Labco, really nice. And you also have to buy the extender so that you get the length as you want it. And that is uh, 39.95 euros, the extender. And then you get 16 inches including the muzzle. That is when you are, as we Germans are using the metric system, you are coming to uh, 70 and uh, 37. 0.5 centimeters to 45.5 centimeters is the difference from the both, barrels. Both without muzzle. Both without muzzle. And this is not so bad. You, if you had, it's it's a little better for the CQB setup. Yeah. But it's long enough for a rifle setup because it's maybe it's very interesting. But how is the accuracy? How's the accuracy? And the weight is also a oh, point. Yes. The weight and you, we have um, 250 grams to 135. It's it's weights nearly the half. And yeah. for me, it's very important because if you um, have not so much weight on the tip, it's uh, much easier to to get an accurate shot. If it's too heavy here, it swings a little bit more. And when you play the, a whole day, for me, it makes a little a little difference. That's why I'm looking for the weight. Um, okay, but I think we get out. We go. We'll go out now and start with a test. Yeah, let's go out and start testing. Beautiful winter. Beautiful winter. It's uh, 
Yeah. Minus Cold. five degrees. Minus five degrees, <laughs> yeah. But it's sunny. Okay, let's yeah. go out. Let's go out. Yeah, we are now at 30 meters and we have the S63 barrel with a long tip inside the EMF 100. Guy is fixing it. it over there. See, 30 meters. Okay. And we'll shoot one magazine and measure it up. Good. And now we change the barrel. Um, now we got the 18 inch one shot. Same distance. Okay. Okay. S 63 One shot <laughs> Hey guys This is the result for the S63 This is for the 18 inch one shot For, for the first picture it looks very similar We got here one This is the height This is the weight White. Um, 30 centimeters is the height and 26 centimeters is, yeah, 30 to 26 is the kill box. I think it's safe a headshot. The one shot has 22 in the height and it's 23 centimeters wide. It's a little bit more narrow, but um, yeah, I think it's nearly the same. We are here now at the 50 meter point. And we are starting again with the S63. One mag, then we're going to the one shot. Okay, let's go. Oh, good. Now we are we are shooting the one shot of 50 meters. Okay, let's try. meters. Okay guys, S63, one shot. We will measure it, measure it up. We have 47 in the height and 47 to 30. It's always a clear body hit of 50 meters. Oh, we're going to the one shot. Here's one hit. Here. It's the height. Yep. Okay. We got 63 wide and 69 in the height. Nearly the same. A little bit more compact. Okay. Okay guys, we are now at the 70 meters point. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good distance. We are like the uh, times before we are starting with the S63. 
one mag and then we are switching to the one shot. Okay, so now we are here, as you see over right, uh, uh, on the top right corner, these two guys were there before, it comes from the test shooting before and I didn't clean it up correctly, so they shall are there. Shall they mess it up. Mess it up. <laughs> mess it up. <laughs> I shit it in, as we call it in Germany. <laughs> yeah. But this one is the real kill box. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think, um, yeah, you can see it's a much wider, but this is the height. This is the deepest one. We got 71 centimeters in the height. Yeah. Okay. And we got here one hit. And he here. And we got 53 wide. Okay. For, but if you're from 70 meters, it's if it's a tall, it's a big guy, it's always a buddy head. It's very good. We changed the barrel to the one shot. We cleaned it all up. I made it by myself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love trends, which is the guy. Um, okay, we cleaned it all up. And now we're making the last round with the one shot. Here you can see the result was 18 inch, it was a very good result. There was a, the last one hit this, this target. Um, we get 55 in the height and 63 wide. Very good result for 70 meters. It's, it's, um, it's no problem to get a clear body shot from this distance with this barrel. Okay. Okay, friends, we are back from the beautiful German winter. Um, first, we want to show you the, this, the, um, how it looks if you, if you put it together. Could you please start the top cam? Yeah. Okay, this is the S63 um, with a quake muzzle. It looks like a perfect uh, rifle. It's, um, yeah, it's very cool. If we change this, this setup to the one shot, then you can see how much longer it is. Um, yeah, you can see it. It's 10 centimeters more. It's a it, yeah, it's a little bit too long. Um, that's why I played it with with this suppressor. I played it the, the most of the year. This kind of setup. The Socom silencer, mock silencer yeah. from uh, MCS. It has the thread in the middle of the uh, silencer, and so yeah. uh, it sh shorts a bit the a bit. setup. Yeah. But now we um, change it to my perfect, uh, from my point of view, the most beautiful setup. If we take the S63 with the M50, wow, it looks so beautiful. Just have a look. Yeah, wie der Amerikaner sagen würde, like the American says, amazing. Yeah, <laughs> sorry for that, but it's really good. Um, and w when you compare the weight, 289 to 363. And yeah, from my point of view, it looks, it's shorter, lighter, and looks a little bit better. But now we are coming to the... Um, Accuracy. Fazit. Yeah, <laughs> the feedback for the... Yeah, um, in this um, sheet you can see the, the, um, the results. 
Yeah. And I'm a little bit uh, surprised. From my point of view, I thought the 18-inch one-shot would be better. It, it won in every discipline, yes, that's true. Um, but the difference is not so big as I, as I accepted it. Okay, as we see on 30 meters, we have uh, 26 uh, to 30 by the, from the S63. And we have uh, 23 to 22 uh, at the one shot. That's, yeah. But with both barrels on this distance, it's a safe headshot. Okay, yeah. it's so it's not significant. <laughs> on 50 meter, it's the same. It's a little bit narrower with the S63. And on 70 meters, um, of course, this one is better. But it's not so much. And if you if you want to play a sniper, if you want to be a sniper, you have to go with a one shot. You have to this one or a 20 inch because it's the best performing um, or it's a yeah. very good performing barrel. But for many other pl players who say, hey, I want to play with paintballs, I want to play a shorter setup, a longer setup, um, it's a perfect match. It, 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 yeah, order? It, it's it's perfect match and you also have the availability of the inserts for playing paintballs that gives you over there when you play paintballs with it much more accuracy when you try yeah. this barrel with small pro shot ice balls or pro shot skirmish they are uh, not the, it's not perfect this it's not perfect with the board no. size from 682 balls to this 687 one shot you got problems and therefore the s63 is really really nice you have the inserts you have the rifled inserts from labco you can play short you can play long and yeah you can use a pro tip if, if you want to it's possible to use this barrel for your tournament marker and also for your yeah. mag gun really really nice thank you jack wood for bringing us this great product and planet eclipse the whole team from planet eclipse for always supporting and um, improving the sport Great job, really. Yeah, thank re you, really, thank, thank really you very nice. much. I think I will, uh, I will play both of them for the next year when I securing the outposts for long distance shots. I will use, uh, of course, this uh, one shot for for sniper for sniping jobs. But when it goes to CQB and indoor, this one. I yeah. think it's always the game you're playing and the field you're yeah. playing, which which yeah. field you are on. If you, we look back to uh, Rise of Camelot, I think this would be a yeah. nice one because you have have, have not all these real distances. distance shots, you won't play uh, pain, uh, first strikes. This will be a great barrel for this when we are on games on the battleground where you play uh, very wide distances. Wide distances and you will go sensor. over there. And yeah. Or maybe it's like playing Call of Duty. One day you will be the yeah. sniper, one day you will yeah. play uh, another yeah. setup and so yeah. But it's really impressive how accurate this barrel is. Okay. Yeah, really. That's, that's a fast. It's yeah. Okay, guys, I, I hope you enjoyed uh, this. Uh, please write in the comments what are your thoughts for this barrels? What are. Um, we will also try the 16 inch. And yeah, put it in the comments. What do you think? Which barrel do you use? And what do you like? Okay. We see us. Have a great day. Bye bye. Goodbye.